Okay, so next up I'm going to show you how to put in a few things and then I'm going to skip to the end and just kind of show you the finished product for a wall section. So first thing I'm going to do is actually to uh, change my view style. I'm going to click on the display options here and change that to hidden line because in reality we would never print a set of architectural drawings in color because that's too expensive. So um, what we would do instead is print them in black and white so we got that taken care of. So now um, I'm actually going to start at the top and work my way down this time and let me show you where I'm headed first. Um, the top of your wall section should look like this and these are all detail components right so um, I've got a gutter section that's a detail component I've got plywood on my roof that's a detail component I've got shingles um, the insulation in the attic and then I just use lines to represent the ceiling joists these two two by sixes you've already placed and then I placed a drywall section there as well so that's where we're headed. So let's start putting in some detail components. I'm going to um, eventually turn off this roof in this view. So I want to put a line there just so that I know where my overhang is supposed to be. So I'm going to go to annotate, uh, detail line, and then I'm just going to draw. Oops, I still have that set to wide. So let me do that again. Detail line. Let's make that. Uh, fine, I guess. And just draw it there. Click modify to get out of that command. And just extend it up. That way, when I eventually um, turn off this roof, I'll know where this is supposed to be. I'll be able to hide that line later. Uh, but it's just a reference, so reset that roof. So, next up, I want to um, place the components that make the roof. So I'm going to start with the plywood. So uh, detail component and see what we've got here. So plywood is not in there. Oh yeah it is. Plywood 5 8 mm, It's a little thick. Um, but I'm going to go with it. Let's go ahead. And I'm just going to draw that uh, beyond my window again. Oops. Looks like it's not quite lined up. So let's do that. There we go. A little more careful drawing. And then shingles. Let's see if shingles are in there. Shingles, yes. So, oh boy, those need to... Uh, hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and place one and then click escape a couple of times to get out of that command. I'm going to rotate it so that it's parallel to the roof. So I click the shingle to select it, and I click the rotate tool, and I'm going to move my point of rotation down to the bottom of the shingle, and then I'm going to click a second time to start the rotation, and then just bring it down to where it highlights and it's even with the roof. Then I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it up some, and not really happy with that. So I'm going to rotate it just a little bit more. There we go. So now, zoom out a little bit. So now I'm going to place that one down here at the bottom of the roof. And then using my control key on my keyboard, uh, make a copy of it and move it up the roof and make a copy of it and move it up the roof and I should have rotated a little bit more I got a little too much gap there I should go back and work on that I'll do that offline here and you get the idea I just move it all up the roof so it looks like shingles so maybe what I can do is just rotate all of those can I do that looks like I can Wow, looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off my roof one more time just to show you what's going on. Select the roof. 
temporary hide the element. Zoom in. Looks like I get shingles. Looks like I get plywood. Cool. So far, so good. I'm going to turn the roof back on. Okay, so one of the things we have to do is to correct the relationship of the roof to the wall before we get too many detail components in here. So what I'm going to do is offset the roof down from the level because what it does automatically is to place that edge, the bottom edge of the roof, on the outside face of the wall. And I want a different relationship here. So I'm going to um, measure the distance from the top of the wall there up it's three and five eighths inches when I hit the bottom of the roof. So what I'm going to do is select the roof and give it a um, base offset from level of negative negative three and five eighths inches, and then take out the extra numbers here and say apply. There we go. And when we hide this roof, it'll make sense. Um, but that would be where they would cut a bird's mouth in the rafter, right? So uh, let me keep on working, and I'll show you what I've got here in a minute. So after working on some detail components, this is what the top of your wall should look like. So what I've done is I've replaced, I've left the roof on for a while, but then I replaced the bottom of it with a detail line there and the top of it is plywood so I don't have another detail line up there that's okay I've got the shingles that you saw me put in and then I've got a line here that we're gonna call out as an insulation baffle and you can see one of those on the model out in the um, sample room so uh, we'll talk about it um, in a couple of days and let you know what it really is and then I've got a ceiling joist that is represented by this series of lines So I've got hidden lines here these green dashed hidden lines those represent the part of the ceiling joist that's behind the rafter and then this line over here represents the part that I can see that's in front of the raft or you know beyond the rafter not sure exactly how to say that um, some gypsum wallboard section there and there and then insulation like you already did um, I drew the plywood that would be the soffit I didn't bother to ventilate it um, but plywood for the soffit uh, 2 by 10 for a subfascia and then a gutter on the outside. And that gets us pretty close to a decent wall section. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the labels on it. And the way I'll do that is um, actually, I should do that in the next video, give you a different chunk.